in today's session we will do one problem on comparative statement building machinery comes under non current asset comes under non current liability how to convert these things into percentage in assets we have only two classification your building value was 2 lakh without classification you can do your problem but marks will be deducted Hello everyone. I am Adarsh, lecturing with you from PU College, the Temple of Excellence. Now, we are discussing the topic called analysis of financial statement. What do you mean by analysis of financial statement? We already discussed the basic information about analysis of financial statement. In the previous session, we did one problem on comparative statement in today's session we will do one problem on comparative statement now what is comparative comparative means comparison comparing between two balance sheet comparing between two informations to analyze now this will be your 12 marks problem in your examination easily you can score but you have to learn the classification the liability and assets you have to classify we'll go for that from the following information prepare comparative balance sheet position statement now they have given you balance sheet you have to prepare comparative balance sheet how to do now in this share capital general reserve secured loan current liability up to this liabilities now building machinery stock trade receivable we call it as assets now liability should be classified into three which are those now share holders fund first one first one is what share holders fund this is your first classification what is your second classification your second classification is non current liability this is your second classification and your third classification is current liability your liability which is classified into shareholders fund non current liability as well as current liability now what comes under shareholders fund what comes under non current liability what comes under current liability we'll discuss under shareholders fund three things will come which are those three the first one will be share capital the second one will be reserve and surplus and the third one will be profit and loss in this first one share capital general reserve these two comes under shareholders fund next secured loan comes under non current liability under non current liability which are the things will come two things debentures long term loan so secured means we call it as debentures now current liability will come under current liability so easy to classify these two comes under this secured comes under non current current liability comes under current liability only first we will discuss liability then will come for asset now first will complete your liability so these are the liabilities now in this equity and liability this will be your heading now before you start your problem as i told you heading is must comparative balance sheet position statement asset they have given 2 years 2016 
and 2017. So 2016 and 2017. Up to this, just we have to copy from the question. Up to this, we copied from question. Now, in this, under shareholders fund, we got two things. First will be share capital and reserve and surplus. The second is non-current liability. Under non-current liability, we got secured loan. What is the last one? The last one is current liability. Like this, your presentation must be classified. Before classifying also you can write, but your marks will be less. Better classify as shareholders one non-current liability and current liability. Now, in this, you have 2016 and 2017. Whatever given in the question, same thing, copy, paste. Same thing, copy, paste. Even total, total of all this and total of all this, 5 lakh 15,000 and 6 lakh 50,000. In the question paper, they have not given total means we have to total. Now, how to calculate? Simple. Last year it was 4 lakh. Now, how much it is? 5 lakh. 4 lakh minus 5 lakh, how much? Your answer is 1 lakh. Similarly, next, 50,000 minus 60. Your answer is how much? 10,000. 20,000. Minus 15,000, your answer is 5,000. 50,000 minus 70,000, your answer is how much? 20,000. Like this, you have to minus and write the balance amount. Now, increase or decrease in rupees, we calculated. Increase or decrease of rupees, we calculated. Now, how to convert these things into percentage? Now, how to convert means, what is your answer? 1 lakh. How to convert? Simple. You are converting to what? Percentage. Then, multiply with 100. Multiply with 100. Multiply with 100. Multiply with 100. This is? common. While converting into percentage, we should multiply with 100. Now, divided by what? What will be your denominator? Your denominator always your first column. Your denominator always your first column. What is your first column? You have 4 lakhs. Now, divided by 4 lakhs. Similarly, what is your answer? 50,000 divided by 50,000. If you simplify this, your answer is how much? 25%. Similarly, if you simplify this, your answer is how much? 20%. If you simplify before that, what will be your denominator? Your denominator is 15,000. What will be your denominator? 15,000. So, divided by 15,000. Your answer is 33.33 percentage. Last one. What will be your base denominator is 50,000. Divide by 50,000. Your answer 40. Percent. Easy or very easy? Yes, very easy, but you have to be careful with the subdivisions. Now, the last one, you have 5,15,000. So, 1,35 multiplied with what? 100. 1,35 into 100 divided by, you should go for first amount, 5,15,000. Your answer is 26.21. Again, I will repeat, the total is not total of these things. Total you should calculate separately. 
if you total all this you will not get this one even for the total also same procedure you have to follow 135000 multiplied with 100 denominator will be your 515000 clear yes so like this you have to calculate these all about your liabilities will go for your asset before that i'll go back to your question so this is your question liability we completed now we are doing assets now in this these are the assets in assets we have only two classification which are those two one is fixed asset another one is current asset one more name for fixed asset is non-current asset now building machinery these two comes under non-current asset building machinery comes under non-current asset stock trade receivable comes under current asset why these are current asset means stock easily converted to cash your receivable easily you can collect cash means anything which is easily converted to cash we call it as current asset the things which are not easily converted to cash we call it as non-current asset after doing two three problems you will get to know which are non-current asset and which are current asset non-current asset means your fixed asset as well as your long-term deposits are advances clear now in assets we have only two classification this one and this one we'll go to your answer now these are your assets under assets we have first classification non-current asset non-current asset also called as what fixed asset it is also called as under this building machinery then the second category is current asset under current asset we have two things one will be inventory and second one will be stock now inventory stock and the next one is trade receivable inventory or stock both are same we can call it as inventory or else stock now once the classification is done what is the next procedure whatever given in the question everything copy paste now up to this already given in the question just we have to copy and paste we have to find out this one and this one how to find out what we did with liability same thing will follow for the asset also now how much you have last year in 2016 your building value was 2 lakh now it is how much 2 lakh 50 thousand what is the difference the difference is 50,000. Now, last year it was 1,50,000. Now it is 2 lakh. The difference is 50,000. Last year it was 1 lakh. Now it is 1,10,000. The difference is how much? 10,000. Last year it was 65,000. Now it is 90,000. What is the difference? The difference is 25 so your difference is 25,000 now you have calculated amount these things has to be converted to what percentage these things we have to convert to percentage how to convert you have 50,000 if you want to convert to percentage for that always it must be 100 it must be 100 now multiplied with 100 is always common divided what will be your denomination yes 
your denomination always what? Your first row. Your denomination always should be first row. What is your denomination? 2 lakh. So, divided by 2 lakh. Now, second one, 1 lakh 50,000 divided by 1 lakh 50,000. Next, what will be your denominator? 1 lakh divided by 1 lakh. 65,000 divided by 65,000. If you do this calculation, simple in your calculator, take 50,000, multiply with 100, you will get 50 lakh divided by 2 lakh. If you divide by 2 lakh, you will get answer called 25. And whatever the final answers are, we call it as percentage. The answer should be written under percentage. Now, your answer must be 25, 33.33 and this one 10%, this one 38.46%. Now, we'll come for the total. How to calculate your total? Your total is simple. It was 5,50. Now it is 6,50. What is your difference? The difference is 1,35,000. Now, so how to calculate 1,35,000? Multiplied with always what? Always multiplied with 100. For this calculation, what will be your denominator? Yes. For this calculation, your denominator is, come back to your first row, what is your denominator? 5,15,000. Your denominator is 5,15,000 divided by 5,15,000. What is your answer? 26.21 percentage. Clear? Very simple, but classification, you should be careful. Without classification, you can do your problem, but marks will be deducted. This is your complete 12 marks problem. In today's session, we discussed about comparative balance sheet. Now, comparative means we compared between two balance sheet, 2016 as well as 2017. So, in that first thing we learned what is classification. After classifying what we did, add or minus, the differences we found out. After differences, whatever differences we got, we converted to percentage. So, this is a procedure to do comparative balance sheet. In the coming session, we will do more number of problems on comparative as well as we'll go to common size balance sheet. Thank you.